Okay, this is uh, Introduction to Mechanical Engineering 2017 to 18 exam, and this is question eight, uh, which is about material science. And we're given some information about the atomic structure of tungsten, and then we're asked for the number of atoms per unit cell of a tungsten crystal and the theoretical density of tungsten. Okay, I'm going to start just by writing out the information from the question about tungsten. Um, that it is BCC, that's body centered cubic. We'll talk about what that means. Um, it's got an atomic radius. Um, I'm going to just check my data sheet to match how I label that. Uh, I'll make that capital R equals. 0.137 nanometers, which equals 0.137 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Um, and just to show you that uh, conversion from nanometers to uh, meters is in the question there, so you've given that, but it's worth remembering anyway that nanometers are 10 to the minus 9 meters. Nano indicates 10 to the minus 9. And then we've got the atomic mass A m. Uh, again, I'm just going to check that I'm labeling that. Yep, that's fine. That's how it's given in the data sheet. So I'm getting everything. I just want to make sure everything's clear when I go to the data sheet later on. And that equals 183.85 grams per mole. I'm going to call that 0 0.18385 kilograms per mole. If you don't want to make that conversion, you can just leave everything in grams per mole and you can you just have to remember that your final answer is going to be in grams or, or a unit involving grams rather than a unit involving kilograms. Um, but I think it's quite helpful here to divide the number that I was given in the question by a thousand so that I'm working in kilograms rather than in grams throughout because that's the SI unit. Um, so. Uh, a says calculate the number of atoms per unit cell of a tungsten crystal. Um, what we need to do here is think about the unit cell. It's worth getting pretty well practiced at drawing your unit cells and even at picturing them. So what we're doing here is drawing a cube. Uh, like so. Um, and then we're told that tungsten is BCC, that's body centered cubic. Um, the thing to remember about these unit cells is that they have atoms on each corner. That looks like that. Technically, in three dimensions, I think these are called vertices, not corners, but let's not worry too much about that detail. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight vertices, eight corners on my uh, unit cell. And then it says it's body centered cubic. Uh, the alternative here is face centered cubic, and you should look up what a face centered cubic is. Uh, crystal structure looks like. But body centered cubic has one more atom and that's right in the middle of the body, if you like, of the cube. So what I'm saying is that's in the center of the cube um, in in all directions. It, it sits right in the middle of the cube. And we're asked how many atoms are inside this cube? Um, well, the number of atoms equals this one here, the last one I drew in, is right in the middle of the cube, so that's entirely inside the cube. These ones in the corners, um, they're kind of cut in half by the walls of the cube, and if you cut something in half three times, you end up with an eighth of it. So only an eighth of each of these atoms is inside the cube. Uh, but there are eight of them, so it's plus eight times those one-eighths of an atom, um, and that equals two when I calculate it all out. Um, it's one in the middle and eight eighths, one eighth on each corner. Um, and that is the answer to part A. That's three marks. Two atoms per B. 
BCC unit cell. Um, and if you want, you could just remember that as well. It, if it comes up, um, you would be within your rights just to write down BCC unit cells have two atoms per cell, and therefore that's the, the answer. OK, part B. Um, in part B, we're asked for the theoretical density of tungsten there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go, when I see these theoretical density questions, I go to the data sheet, and I need to write down three things. First of all, the, the um, theoretical density equation, rho equals n a m over v c n a. Then uh, we're going to need this n a. That's Avogadro's number, so I'll just make a note of that. n a equals six point zero two three times ten to the twenty three. And the other thing that we need to know is how we can calculate this VC is the volume of the unit cell. We need to calculate that based on the atomic radius. Um, and we are dealing with BCC body centered cubic. So I want this answer here that A, the length of the unit cell, is 4R on root 3. So I've got three things that I needed off the data sheet there, and now I'm ready to go with my answer. I know n equals 2. That's the number of atoms per unit cell, which is what we calculated here in part a. Um, a m, the atomic mass, well, we wrote that down right at the start. That's 0 0.18385 kilograms per mole. VC, we're going to need to calculate, that's going to be the length of this, of one side of this cubed, sorry, the length of one side of this cube, cubed. So the volume of a cube is the length of the side to the power of 3, and the length of the side is this A, so it's 4 on root 3 times R, which we already know, 0 0.137 times 10 to the minus 9, and then we need to cube all of that. Um, 4 divided by root 3 is that times 0 0.137 times 10 to the minus 9 gives me that number and then I cube all of that. And I get 3.167 times 10 to the minus 29. Um, and then finally we know Na, so we've got everything we need. We're ready to write down that rho equals, put my calculator away for a second, 2 times 0 0.18385 divided by 3 point, uh, just to be clear, that number there that I've calculated is in cubic meters because this number here was in meters and I wrote that down up there. 3.167 times 10 to the minus 29 multiplied by 6.023 times 10 to the 23. One nine two seven six point seven. I will call that uh, one nine two one nine two seven six point seven dot dot dot. Um, and that is in. Well, this mole cancelled out with a, a per mole in Avogadro's number as well. That's the number of atoms per mole. So that's gone, and we've got kilograms on the top line and cubic meters on the bottom line, and this is all in kilograms per cubic meter. And I'm just going to call that 19300 kilograms per cubic meter. There's no point giving it to lots of decimal places or lots of significant figures. Um, is that the final thing just to check? Is that a reasonable number? 
Um, I know that water weighs a thousand kilograms per cubic meter or a kilogram per liter. Um, and I guess I expect tungsten to sink. It's probably quite a heavy metal. It, it, it seems plausible. If I'd got an answer which was one kilogram per cubic meter, that's unlikely. That would be more like a gas kind of density. And if I got a million kilograms per cubic meter, that's like um, neutron star densities or something like that. So you just want to have a look at the end and say, is that a reasonable number? And I think it is. Um, so I'm going to call that my final answer.